It's not what you know, but who you know. That happens to be the case in many instances when it comes to being successful in life. But how important is who you know? How does one go about networking? These topics and more will be discussed in the season premiere of Angel Dodger. I've got to take it further! I can't no! Goku! Time for! In today's episode, I'm going to be talking to a fellow YouTuber called Outer School TV. Thank you so much for joining me today. How did you get started with your channel? Uh, I actually started Outer School TV because I was walking, I was walking across the stage, graduating from high school, and when I finished getting my diploma, I literally got off the stage and was like, "What now?" You know, so. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I felt like I wasn't the only one that was doing this. So, some told me to, you know what, grab that camera and just record the experience. And that's how Out of School TV got started. So let's delve right into this topic of networking. Um, what do you consider that to be? How do you network? Um, I network in a, a lot of ways. Um, matter of fact, there's, there's a, getting so passionate about the topic, there's, um, you can network just by going outside, you know, just talking to whoever. Um, basically, all your interactions, you kind of, I kind of frame them as a way of, um, you know, networking, you know, helping each other out, you know. So when you're in that mindset, you know, opportunities start to open, start to open, and start start to open, uh, open them for you. Um, being in school, uh, you know, I go to University of Maryland, and I'm in the journalism program. And there are so many students out there that are doing their thing. Like a few people are just starting their own, um, you know, news publication. You know, just for the money that they have. And you know, we go to the same class. We're like-minded. So, hey, one and two, let's go ahead and make some work. You know. So it's just all about um, just being, just being open and being uh, ready to. Uh, network and meet people. So you see the benefits of it. Why do you think it's so important to network? Uh, it's important to network because um, if you have something that you're passionate about doing, um, you want to get that message out there because one, you believe that this message can help someone else out. Now I'm only I can only speak for like a YouTube experience because it's um, and you and yourself. You know, we have you have a, a message to get message to get out there, and we are, our overall goal is to help people but you want a, a lot of people to see that message because you feel like it can help them. Yeah. So yeah. With, with having that uh, that framework of that idea in your mind, then networking is almost, you know, second nature where you feel like, hey, you know, um, I feel dating, you know, dating mistakes, you know, that uh, happen. They can, you know, you want to find out, all right, well, if I ain't getting that call back from that girl, what's you know what's going on? What can I do? What am I doing wrong? And then you have that message on your channel where it's like, all right, this is why you're not getting that call back from that girl. Yeah. And here's a fresh yeah. perspective on top of that. Yeah. So yeah. you definitely want to. Um, it's definitely important to make sure that you know when you're networking, you want to you want to make sure that you can bring something to the table as well, and also provide value um, to that individual as well. And then also building relationships too. That's another big thing. Build relationships. It's not just saying, um, "Yeah, I'm help you out. I'm, I'm gonna help you out with this. You help me out with that. It's done." No, relationships are everlasting. They they bond. Like you can start a relationship right now, and then ten years, that same person that you just talked to may give you a job or something like that. So it's very very important. You obviously think that networking is very important, rightfully so. How do you? How do you build on those skills? Do you feel like it's something that you have to continue, continually work on? And if so, um, how do you do that? What I do is to build on these skills is I force myself to do it, you know? And I know it's kind of hard for uh, some people to be like, you know what, I gotta actually go out and do stuff. But if you're, to make it easy is if, if you're in a, um, an environment where, where you're around like-minded people, you won't think twice about starting a conversation about, you know, that particular topic. You know, say we're at a convention for um, for YouTube for YouTubers, you know, and it's 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 going to be it's going to feel natural just to go ahead and talk like, oh, you YouTube, I YouTube too, you know. So what's going on? What do you uh, what do you do? And that's where it gets to, you know, that's where it becomes easier for you. And to speak to the um, people that feel like they're, I guess, introverts and not, you know, kind of shy a little bit, it's. 
you're gonna have to network. I mean, that's just that's just what it is. You're just gonna have to go ahead and take a deep breath and talk. You're just gonna have to do that, especially if you wanna spread your message around. Uh, adding on to that, how would you say an introvert or a shy person should go about networking if it's not their strong suit? For those who are introverted, you can start out small. You know, join a group or something, some, some that you're, you know, interested in. You know, if you play the piano, then go ahead and, uh, you know, join a class where there's a few people in there. You start talking to them, and then you just start to build your network up. You know, you definitely want to make sure you're networking at the same time. Maybe you can start a song together at that in that um, in that space. But it'll start to seem natural. It'll start to just seem natural. Is it some? It's kind of hard to explain, but it starts to feel natural when it's like you know, hey, I do this, you do that, let's do it together. You know. I think we've established the fact that you can't just know a bunch of things. It's, it's who you know that's more important. But um, why can't you just go about being smart and not having any connections? What is the downside of that? For people who just want to stick to saying, you know what, I'm intelligent, people should just know that, and I'm not going to put an uh, effort into trying to network with people. I think that person is in denial. You know, like I feel like that, I feel like it's, I mean, if I, if it was um, if he was here, yeah, she he or she was here. I would tell him like you know, hey, like you're networking is one of these uh, one of the most beneficial things that anyone can do. It can you know help you out in so many ways. You can meet so many people through it. I mean, even if you even if we look at celebrities, you know, celebrities have you know they have celebrity friends and all that. But you know, you see a lot of you know. I, I think this is interesting when you see a lot of uh, features on songs and stuff like that. You know, it's not this. It's not. I'm, I don't know how it works, but it's not. I don't think it's like, hey, I want you on this song. All right, bye. You know, because you can see, um, you can see people that build so many relationships through that. You know, and that's again, that's through like-minded. You know, in that same kind of space. So the person that feels like I don't need connections, um, you know. I feel like they're fooling themselves, and you're, you're you're fooling yourself. You know, you you're definitely going to need to. I mean, I feel like anything that you're that you're going to do, you're just going to have to network. So, what I'll tell you it. What I'll tell that person is, wake up. Yeah, that's just that's just not. You can't you can't operate like that. I mean, if you decide to, then hey, but you'll get a lot of benefits out of networking as opposed to staying just staying to yourself. It makes sense to me. Um, well, yeah, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much for uh, showing up today. This was pretty interesting to do via Skype. It's the first Skype interview I did for my video blog. Um, but yeah, check out Out of School TV. The link will be right now in the bottom, I think, in the description as well. And I'm Angel Dodger. I will see you next time. See you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, you should check out my most recent video on the left, which talks about common dating mistakes, and the video in the middle, which is about whether GPA or work experience is more valuable for grad school and starting a career. Like my Facebook page, you get bonus footage and release dates of future episodes. And don't forget to subscribe.